Welcome to Think A Bit. I'm Joe King. And today, Planet Watch held an AMA, and wow, there was some really, really alarming news. I mean, I don't know if you guys watched the AMA or you guys might have watched it but not caught the stuff I caught, but I'm going to bring it to you now because this is real important information. Make sure you watch the whole video to the end. All right, now let's start with the first clip. Come on. All right, you know how rewards have been all messed up for like the type 4 sensors the rewards been all messed up I mean we're getting like sometimes 6 six out of the 23 a day sometimes we're getting 9, 10 here he's going to tell you why we're getting so little rewards listen to what he says this is one thing uh, the other thing I, I like to remind you that if you don't earn tokens we don't earn either in the sense that as you know from the white paper uh, 20% of the issued rewards go to Planet Watch. What you receive in your wallet if you own a sensor is 80% of the total rewards. See, they get 20% of uh, all the tokens uh, earned. We, we were supposed to get 80%, but they had it backwards. They were getting 80% for all these days, even since the beginning. Like the first week, we're getting only like a few rewards. They had it backwards for like the, for the over a month. How can you get it that wrong? They're getting eighty percent token rewards every day, only giving us twenty. Come on, that's messed up. We're getting twenty percent of our rewards. He said, "Don't worry, though. Next week they should have it fixed." I mean, that's unacceptable. It needs to be fixed right now, right away. All right, let's go to the next thing. Or right, let's finish watching this little clip. Issued by the blockchain, so. If you lose tokens, we lose them as well. So we have a, all the same interest, or our, our interests are, are aligned. We need to make it work. Yeah, make it work. Stop well stealing our tokens. So I'm really sorry for the situation. Uh, you didn't look sorry. All right, in this next clip, he's going to talk about the Type 3 sensors, and there's some vote. There's some governance vote. You could come here and vote on something. I mean, he's talking about changing the white paper, and uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing. I mean, he wants to keep the rewards up, the 40, I think, was it 46? 46 a day for the Type 3? The only reason I think he wants to keep the rewards up, because they're going to be, they're switching, they're not earning 80% of the earnings no more. They're only going back to 20% now, and uh, he wants to keep the rewards up so that he can keep earning more. But anyway, look, there's some, there's going to be some governance vote, and he's, he's talking about changing the white paper. This is really important. He's talking about changing the white paper. All right. That reward, reward rates should be permanently, permanently increased by 50% with respect to the figures that you can read today in the white paper. Since this is a change in the white paper, we are submitting to the Planet Watchers community a proposal for such an increase, and we are asking you to vote on such a proposal. That's the way we do governance in Planet Watch. So, uh, the bottom line in terms of numbers of our proposal is that in, in, the, in the white paper, paper, the tables where uh, max daily rewards uh, figures are displayed will be changed to reflect the 50 percent upgrade all right you see what he said he's talking about changing the white paper and uh, it's okay when he wants to do it he wants to do it he's trying to get you to vote his way he's trying to sway you to vote i mean if you're running for a company and stuff i mean he should not be talking about which way he wants to vote he's trying to sway people's votes he should be neutral. He should not be saying vote this way because I want it this way. He should stay neutral in it. But a few seconds later, listen to what he says about other people uh, not listening to the white paper. Well, listen to this. And everybody who is uh, trying to bend the rules of the white paper, uh, putting up what we can call censor farms, is a cheater as far as they're concerned. He just called himself a cheater. Everyone who is trying to bend the rules of the white paper is a cheater. 
But a few seconds ago, he was trying to bend the rules of the white paper. He's trying to bend the rules and tell you how to vote. And now he's saying anyone that bends the rules of the white paper is a cheater. So basically, Claudio's a cheat. He's calling himself a cheater. I can't believe this. Let's keep listening. He's in breach of our terms and conditions. So we are taking actions. We are devoting some resources to try to detect anomalies in the data flows. And some people are even posting pictures on social channels where they essentially are show proudly that they are cheating. Well, what can I say? Cheaters beware. Because now, as you know, with the KYC system, we have a name for each sensor. So if we find that someone has KYC himself, and then he's a cheat. Oh my gosh, he's threatening people now. So you thought KYC, maybe just for taxes, maybe who knows what KYC is. But now he's talking about like KY, using KYC against you. Look at this guy. Can he be trusted? It was KYC, no big deal, you know, just for taxes or just we have to, people have to know who you are. But now he's talking about KYCing to, he's even saying possible legal action now. We might take possible legal action. I did not sign up for that. Like, I mean, I'm not doing nothing wrong, but how are people, how are you going to sue people in China? Come on. I think it's a direct threat to people in the United States direct he's trying to threaten people and i don't like you threatening americans claudio i don't like when french people threaten americans so i hope you take that back take it back you cheater let's keep listening there at the very least we will ban him for life so he'll not no longer be able to be a planet he was said he wants to ban people for life now now this goal, well, we'll show you in another clip down in a little bit. His real goal is he's using all of us. Like he's using all like the basic users now. He really just wants governments and corporations. You'll see later down the line, he was saying that's what he really wants is government and corporations. Basically, he's just uh, using us to get them. And then once he gets them, he's done. He's done messing with the people and their house sensors. Let's keep listening. Watcher and to earn tokens. In some extreme cases, we might even take legal action because- uh, How you gonna sue people in China? Come on, man. Detrimental to a very large worldwide community. So what can I say? Uh, don't do it. Uh, it's not even worth, it's not worth under any point of view, in my opinion, but uh, just do your own assessment of risks and opportunities to me you are a cheater you should do that you're a cheater you're trying to bend the rules of the white paper cheater since we are using licenses as placeholders on waiting lists all right now listen to what he says here he's saying oh we're using licenses as placeholders for waiting lists then he he says this then he changes his story like two minutes later he says licenses are placeholders on the waiting list he says something, then two minutes later he changes his mind or he doesn't mean what he says. You be the judge. Thanks, uh, you should uh, You should know that there is, no, there is no way to jump the queue if you see what I Can't mean. Can't jump the queue. Licenses. So we will be enforcing strictly the waiting list and uh, there is no way to go around it other than taking the risk of buying devices. Are you sure? And I'll say something about that later. Don't change your okay. mind on me. So questions. Remember uh, what he just said. A classical, very classical question. Can't jump the queue. Uh, are you going to privilege business partners with respect to Planet Watchers in terms of uh, queuing for sensors and would they skip the queue, things like that? Again, the, the bottom, the matter is, we are se uh, managing separate processes for onboarding, well, for Planet Watchers and for corporate partners. We believe that Planet Watch needs answer to answer the question. To so, can they skip the queue? To manage both streams in the way we deem best. So, oh, you see what he said? 
You see what he said? Oh, we're going to do what we deem best. So basically, corporations can skip the queue. Um, uh, see, two seconds before that, he said, Oh, no, no one could jump the line, skip in the queue. A minute later, he says, Yeah, we'll do what we seem best. Corporations, you know, governments, we'll let them skip the queue. Planet Watch, can we really trust them now? I mean, you only can lie for so long before your lies start coming out. I mean, it's hard to be a good liar. And you can see now, Claudio is like a house of cards is crumbling down now. He can't keep his lies straight. Keeps on changing his mind. One minute, you can't skip the queue. Then now you can skip the queue if you're a corporation or government. I mean, then he says, oh, if you bend the rules of the white paper, you're a cheater. But then he talks about he wants to bend the rules of the white paper. I mean, he really, I don't know, Planet Watch, I think, needs a new leader. He needs to step down. And I'll do it. I mean, if you want to know the truth about Planet Watch, you can join the Discord. The link's down below. But, um... Be very careful getting into this project now because it seems like we like the we're only pawns in in Claudio's game to get governments and corporations. That's what he really wants. We were just pawns in the beginning to give him a little bit of capital, and now he now he has it, and now he's throwing us away for corporations and governments. He had one he got one little contract with the city of Miami, and he's it already changed him. Went to his head. Unbelievable. All right. This is Joe King and I'm done.